Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is a huge poem that I had to do for somebody. Well, if you have something like this to do and you don't have the paper with you, you don't have the poem with you, someone sent it to you through an email, a, a screenshot, something like that, I'm going to show you how you go about doing that. You come in here to place image. Come to your file where you saved it. And you click on it. And it pulls it up in here. Well, look at what you can do. You can make that as big as you want. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to increase it this way. So you can make it big so that you can read what all it says. So that you can type as you read it. All right. And this is going to be one that I'm going to print off and I am going to mod podge this onto a canvas. It is my uh, brother's wife. So my sister in law's uh, sister was killed in a car accident. Actually, she was, it's a long story, but anyways. So this poem I needed to transcribe to print. Well, how am I going to do that? I don't want to use all these different programs. I love Scale. I want to be able to do it in Scale. So this is how I did it. I brought it in. So I shrunk it down. Okay. And you can easily do that. Let me try to get on this right here. Let me find it. Could just stop being lazy and do this, huh? Okay. So what you do is you come over here. And in the size, I took it down right here as I'm typing it. I didn't leave it at 1. I took it down to point four zero, And I ended up with this. All right? That's fine. You get it all typed out, looking great. You go to your path. You do your union so that all of your letters are fine, right? Because when you cut, you want it all unioned, right? Uh-uh. We don't want this to be a cut file. Well, I don't want it to be a draw file either because I want to print this. Well, what am I going to do? Scale doesn't print. Yes, it does. You're going to come over here and you select the print cut print. Okay, so let's see. Let's change this. Let's change this to cut. Because that's what it would normally be. And it takes a little while. Okay, so this is now a cut file. Well, I don't want that to be cut. So let's get that off of there. Oops, it just disappeared behind there. Okay, so it's showing the cut lines. We'll click all of them. And it's not showing the black draw lines. All right, so let's click done. I come over here. And I go to print, cut, cut. Let's see what it does. Nope. Still showing the same thing. It's giving me a cut line. So if I send this to the printer right now, it is going to print an entirely black page. Do not want that. What I need to select is print, cut, print. Let it work a little bit. Come over here. Aha! I have the black showing first. So when we use our scan and cutter or whatever you're using, I need to select print, cut, print. So now I have all this. What do I do? Well, I could save it to this, I could save it to that, but I have a printer. I have the HP wide format that will print a uh, 13 by 17 or 19 or something like that. It prints a huge sheet of paper, 13 by whatever it is. So I can come up here to my file. I can come down here to my print. I have the OfficeJet 7500E910. I already have it hooked up. If you don't, you can come in here to print setup and set up your printer. Mine is a wireless printer. 
If yours isn't, you can hook it up to, you know, your computer, do all that fancy stuff, whatever you need to do. But do the setup. Get it all set up. So you come in here. Make sure you go into here, because I haven't done this yet, and you adjust what your settings will be. I can't print. Um, I'm not going to print it at a 12 by 12. I'm actually going to print it at 11 by 14, because I'm going to put it on an 11 by 14 canvas. So I'm going to print it at 11 by 14, but I'm going to bring the margins in. Okay, so I'm going to select that but I'm going to cancel this because in here I need to bring these margins in before I send it to my printer. So this, I need to bring it in a little bit. Okay. And this I need to bring in a little bit too. Actually, no, I'm going to bring this back down because I have 14, so that's okay. But, back that up a little bit. So I'm going to come over here, click to page, and I'm going to center it. Center it to the page, okay? So that centers both vertically and horizontally. So now I am ready to send it to my printer. All right. And I'm also going to save project as in case I've screwed something up and I don't realize it yet. I'm going to go ahead and save it as that. And um, when you do any file in Shortcuts a lot, you really want to save it as a SCUT file. Because if I had 15 pages lined up up here, and I save it as a SCUT file, it saves all 15, however many pages you have up here, it saves it all as one file. If you save it as an SVG file, a JPEG, a, a, whatever you save it as, it's going to require you to go through and save each page individually. That's why I recommend everybody saves whatever they're doing as an FCM, SVG, whatever, and a SCUT file so that you have it all together as one. Okay? All right, so that's how you go about doing any kind of printed thing. It's really cool. Um, if you can, go ahead and use it. It's, it's really neat. So you can print from scale, and then if you want, like if these were actually able to be cut, you can print it and cut it. All right, guys, have a good day. If you uh, have any questions, find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scal Help on Facebook.